YouTube. Thanks. Morning. You look very happy. <laughs> Mrs. Brown has an obsession with Timmy's. Chocolate chip Timmy. Timmy. Chocolate chip muffins. Think he wants to play chicken? We will lose. Well, everybody's heading into town this morning. We're going to take these trucks to Cargill, see how that goes today. If they get busy, we'll start going to the bins. We got Big Mike helping us today. He's behind me, BJ's in front of me, and uh, Dad's getting fuel or something for the combine. And yeah, we should get started, you know, here pretty soon. It is Sunday, cargo didn't open till 10, so took the wife and kids to the Timmy's. Come on! Some South Park fans out there. Well, yeah, all right, and we're back. All in all, not too bad. Sunday, uh, we're going to shell some more corn here today. Uh, Brian's trucking, Big Mike's helping us, so maybe we can get something going here. Uh, they didn't open till 10, they're back. So I got the bleeder already, checked it out, grease a little bit, and uh, I think it's ready to roll. So we'll see what we get done. Looks like it will be a pretty decent day, they say. So we'll run corn today, probably switch to beans tomorrow, probably. So it's kind of the plan, maybe. Try to do some wheat, maybe.
look at you guys' little drone montage. Haven't had the drone out since I cut my finger. Realized we didn't have the gleaner on drone footage. And that's my favorite field to shoot drone footage in. Okay, I had to stop waiting on BJ. I don't know if he load the truck or what, but he's coming. So this is a different variety. Maybe a half point dryer. Uh, maybe not quite as good, almost. Pretty close. It's over 200 bushels, so good for up here in this gravelly ground, lighter ground. Hard to find good help. At what point do you start docking their pay? You got a pretty good load on that other first green card. I think we're just about full of trucks. Okay, here comes another truck, so I guess we're in good shape. We got a pretty good jag on. Well, we did about all this field I think we're going to do. Uh, we're going over this other field and open it up, make a round or two. We've done uh, 6,600 uh, 6, bushels this morning and uh, waiting on a truck. I think he's on his way here. I see him coming. So, my truck's full, cart's full. So, uh, do this. Probably open up another field or make a round another, another field down toward the bottom, see how wet it is. Get our dryer going, see if it's gonna work, everything's gonna work, so. Yeah, that's what we're doing. See the corn going down there, it empties pretty fast. He didn't have enough on to uh, load this truck, but uh, I got some on. So he got to wait till he gets dumped because this is a different field than what I got. So we'll try to keep everything separate. So he gets dumped and I'll dump mine on. And I had to load and finish loading that truck. Cody's gonna head to the end of the other truck. Brian's in there, uh, according to this, he's still dumping. Still to dump. He hadn't dumped yet. That pipe bag is pretty handy to see where they're at, that kind of stuff. And we put the tickets in there. It's a pretty neat outfit. Hopefully we can keep better track of our stuff with it. I think it looks like it's going to happen, uh, work pretty good. All right, so in a recent change of plans, I say recent because they've changed a few times today. Dad said that him and BJ are going to go fuel up. They're both low on fuel. And then we are going to run a, a bin load of corn below the grain bins. So that'll be the third or fourth field we've, we've harvested just a little bit of without finishing today. I don't know why. But then we're going to get everything ready to do beans tomorrow. I, I think was the last I heard. We'll see. Right now we're going to dump this little corn. I guess we need to get fuel as well. Man, we just did uh, 60 acres in that field. Was 62 acres, we did 30 of it. The lower side there is a point rose and didn't have fungicide on down there and it was dry, real gravelly ground. So some of the low was like 125, then you get to the end and it was up to 130 or 230 or 40. But uh, we got the worst of it and uh, we're about out of fuel here to fill up this morning. And we're going to go up here and do another field or open the field up here where we can get to the bottom with the grain heads on, see what it's like. I know it's going to be wetter. But that's about all we're going to haul the town, looks like, and start putting it in the bins. So, uh, go up here and clean off a little bit, feed the feeder house off, and uh, you want to get some fuel? You want to get nothing down there? Not real sure where we left off in this video. I went and filled the truck, I took the dogs out, and now Dad is running another field right below the combine shed, and I'm going to dump this truck here and see if our dryer is going to work. We haven't haven't loaded this dryer yet. I don't think we're going to dry corn tonight just because I don't want to sit over here and babysit it all day. We're switching to beans tomorrow, but I do want to know if everything's going to function right. And first, I need to latch that last dryer door, otherwise we're just going to make a big mess. So the dryer is doors along the bottom of it. Basically at the end of the season we open those doors, that way any material in the dryer falls down onto the ground. But uh, first step in starting this dryer is closing those doors. So there's underneath of the dryer. Next thing we gotta do is flip this valve. So this valve here basically directs flow 
out of our overhead storage tank. We had it set to where it would come out of this pipe. So that's how we load out grain during the off season when we're selling grain out of the bins. We just flip this valve where now that bin is diverted into this dryer. Step number two. Now we're gonna walk out here and flip our power on. Over our panel. <sighs> Try to re-familiarize ourselves with it. One thing I like about this old dryer is not a lot of buttons. Let's see if uh, everything's gonna turn on. Good. That was step three. Now we're ready to dump corn. So whenever I'm pulling trucks in here, I line up based on a point on the wall with my mirror. So you can't see it, but there's a mark right there. It says Tempe. My problem is now we have three Tempe's and they've been on a multitude of different trucks. So this should at least get us close. If you're wondering where a Tempe is, that's the name of this trailer. Actually, it uh, yeah, it's perfect. Worked great. So these are our holding bin level indicators. As the bin fills, these lights go out. They're hooked to pressure switches. So got to have those on. Plus, it's a little dark in here. So we have two wet bins that feed the dryer. They're each 1,800 bushel. So with modern combines, 1,800 bushel is way too small. Before we had the other grain bins, this was our main grain facility, and we would fill the we'd fill the wet tanks up in about an hour and a half, and it was incredibly slow over here. Uh, we still have to use it because we still use the storage, but um, it really makes you thankful for having a 25,000 bushel wet tank at the other bins. So now that grain is going into the leg, it's going into this bin right there, and then we flip the load auger on, it will load out of that bin into this old dryer. That sound you hear is what's gravity feeling the dryer at the moment. So it's going to be a little noisy for a little while. But then, after this loads for a while, we'll kick the dryer on. We'll kick the load auger on the dryer to finish filling it. We at least know that the corn's going to the right spot. One other thing we got to do, we got to see how wet this corn is. Because that's how we know how to set our dryer. We have to know the starting moisture. We're going to be trying to dry this corn to at least 15.5. If it gets to 15.5, I'll be pretty happy. 17.1! So if we had a dry bottom in one of these bins right here, uh, meaning we already had dry corn in it, I would throw this bin, or this corn right in the bin. I wouldn't even mess with the dryer. But since we don't, we need to get a dry base on the bottom of the bin. So eventually this will just go right in the bin, but not now. So Dad was doing a little rat trapping last night. Apparently he caught five in this little trap here. And on the way to drown them, he accidentally let three of them go. Good job, they're gonna tell the herd not to go to that box. So I mentioned a couple videos back that we were putting up another hoop barn. So you're looking at the general location where that barn's gonna go, right here amongst uh, the rest of the operation. This is pretty centrally located to the majority of our acres, really. Um, the other bin site, it's pretty close as well, but right here on this driveway, there's about 1,500 acres that we don't have to leave this driveway to get to, so it makes more sense to put a fertilizer barn here, really. So the rest of the farm, the other hoop barn is kind of centrally, lo centrally located, so should work out pretty good, but I think we're gonna keep the large majority of our fertilizer in this one and use the other one just for equipment storage. But then again, I didn't think we were gonna use the old hoop barn for equipment storage, so who knows, subject to change. Well, while this truck's dumping, we might as well go distribute death. So several of you recommended this kind of rat poison. We've been using this before, had mixed results. So we got it, might as well throw it out. So dad's doing this field, like the couple rounds on this field here. We have beans on the other side of that tree line. And since that corn's off now, we'll be able to drive the combines with the bean heads to the bean field. So. That's why I did the, the ends on that one field. That corn's like 25%, so we're not gonna do any more of it. That's, uh, that's it for that field. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Like I said, I think tomorrow we're gonna run some beans. We're gonna get to try out that wind system, so I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you're enjoying the content. Check the links in the description for any merch, and we'll see you in the next one.